That's actually a question that comes up a lot on our subreddit. Shout out to r slash Jake and Amir. Is uh, which videos to show people that, that are not fans. And I don't know if there's a specific video. I think what works well about our, the Jake and Amir web series is that they're so fast and that you really have to just like pop them in your mouth like jelly beans or it won't catch. Some of my favorite videos are Tinder. I'm swiping right. I matched on Tinder. Prom. I got a cut out early today. It's 4.50 and you just showed up for the first time. Yeah, well I gotta go to prom. No, you don't. Snake bite. My snake freaking clipped me or something. It looks like it did clip you. Yeah, it went right for the jugular too. I'll add workshop. This isn't like rocket science, we're just making carpets. No, where? carpentry. And Monopoly. <laughs> Those are two early, early Jake and Amir episodes that I always uh, hear are people's favorites. If they're fans of Reddit, we made a video about Reddit. Also, show them lonely and horny. Come to <laughs> Video On Demand, April 8th. Hey, I am Jake Hurwitz. And I'm Amir Blumenfeld. Uh, Reddit, ask us anything. We're here to have fun. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm in a pretty dark place, so hopefully this so will So we help. need this. I remember having like a lot of stressful moments leading up to the takes that we could only take once, like the split pea soup thing. Like, if we don't get that, there is no reset. I have to take a go home, take a shower. They have to clean the entire floor, and we have to like shoot the thing tomorrow. Uh, so we were very, very careful not to mess up in any way. Hey, all right, I'm gonna call 911, okay? No, it's not gonna do anything. I prank call them all the time. I'll call them from my phone. I do it from your phone. I think the closest we got to not getting a shot actually happened uh, when we were shooting our new web series, Lonely and Horny, where. I had to deliver a speech that was making me and the guy I was talking to laugh to the point where we were running out of time on the day and we almost didn't get it. It was the first time I've ever on set had to be mean to Amir. And I didn't want to do it, but I had to be mean so he would stop thinking it was funny. And I thought, I, yeah, I felt really bad. But we got the shot. This is gonna shock some people, but I think two. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, for a while it was one, but then I realized you can double your excitement with two, and I think that's the maximum amount. I mean, three. I just thought three would be better than did, two. Sorry, did you think three was the maximum amount of vomits? <laughs> what would you say is more than that? Four? Four would, final answer, four. That's the most. Four is the most almonds you can have. And the best amount. What about five? Jesus, we have to stop answering this question. It was a lot more complicated because we also directed it. Fired, we were just writers and actors, and we sort of direct ourselves a little bit, but Sam Reich directed Fired, and he really conducted everything. Uh, Lonely and Horny was all us, so if we didn't get something, if we made any mistakes, it was on us, not on anybody else. Fired felt like a 20 minute long Jake and Amir episode, something we had done before. And Lonely and Horny felt like a completely new universe. So when we started shooting that, we basically had to start from scratch. What does it look like? Who's this character? How does he interact with the people around him? I would buy back the rights to Jake and Amir and just do nothing with it. It, was, it would be like a power move. So I would walk into Ricky's office and show him a briefcase filled with we don't know what. So it's like the Pulp Fiction scene where he opens it and there's this yellow glow. And he has no choice but to accept my offer because who knows what's in this briefcase. I leave with the characters. I don't do anything. Maybe, at most, in a few years, I license a doll. But I'm not even selling that. <laughs> so you think our web series is worth a lot of gold is what you're implying. Uh, I think we, uh, Jake and Amir have lasted like nine or 10 years or whatever it was. I feel like uh, pretty good leaving it behind with college humor and moving on to the next thing. For right now, we really like making our own stuff. Ideally, 
we'll be able to do that on larger platforms, perhaps television, perhaps movies. Though as the line blurs between TV and internet, it's almost starting to become less and less significant that our show uh, is on Vimeo or something like True TV. We feel like the same amount of people will watch it, perhaps even more online. So while TV still has that allure of, you know, I can tell my parents that we have a TV show and there's a barrier to entry and we convinced executives to give us money. Uh, it, it, what excites us more than that is being able to create our own stuff. As for writing without Jake, I would leave him in a heartbeat if an opportunity even slightly better. Let's say that I made one penny more on the dollar than uh, what we were currently getting paid for Lonely and Horny. I would split, be gone, a ghost. He wouldn't even be able to reach me. I'd be on the next flight out to anywhere USA to escape him. We prefer what we're doing right now with Vimeo over what we were doing when we were pitching TV shows because we have way more autonomy with Vimeo. So the things that you liked about Jake and Amir, uh, the fact that we could really do some pretty insane stuff because it, number one, it wasn't going on television, and two, because we had this great deal with College Humor where they were really hands off and trusted us to be funny. The same exact thing is happening with Vimeo, only now we have slightly more money, so we're making something on more of a grand scale uh, that looks a lot better, but is still the exact same sensibility as Jake and Amir and our podcast. So I think it would be really tough to move into a space where we had to deal with notes we didn't necessarily agree with. And uh, in terms of writing projects, I'll do you one better. I would not just leave Amir, I would throw him under the bus. I would sell him up the river. I would, I, I would straight up threaten his life to, to just get out of this writing partnership. <laughs> People of Reddit, thank you so much for uh, listening, watching, supporting us throughout the years. One of our favorite community of fans is our subreddit. Yeah, you guys are smart and you're with it and you honestly know Jake and Amir as good or perhaps better than uh, we do. So yeah. thank you for that. So if you ever want more of us, uh, check out r slash Jake and Amir. Join the conversation, lurk a bit, voice your opinion. We're in there all the time. We're having fun. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate it. So thanks again. Ciao. Trying out ciao now. What do you think? I hate it. See ya.